Hello friends, today we are going to see how to detect a loop in a linked list. So here is the example. So you can see this is the head of this linked list and this singly linked list makes a loop means a node that is J points to C in this linked list means the linked list does not end in null. The last node of the linked list which we can just assume as J points to the uh, node in the same linked list that is C. So let's see how to detect this loop in the linked list. So this is the code for checking the loop in the linked list. So we are passing head to this function. Now our P and Q two pointers will point to head. So I will execute this code parallelly. So P and Q both point to head. Now while P and Q and Q gives next. So what does this mean? This means that P, Q and Q points next should not be null. If any of them is null, this means that there is no loop in the linked list. For example, here you can see this linked list ends in a null. So while iterating in this while loop, if P or Q, any of them reaches to null, this means that there is no uh, loop in the linked list. So let's execute this while so here there are two pointers P and Q. P moves forward by one step and Q moves forward by two positions that is two steps. So let's start P moves forward by one step and Q moves forward by two positions. So one and two. So this is the current status. So now check whether P is equal to equal to Q. No. So let's go to the next iteration. So eventually what will happen here is that P and Q will point to the same node at some iteration. So we will see which is that iteration and when they will point to the same node means when the addresses will be same for P and Q. So move P by one step, Q by two steps. These two steps are over. So now check if P equal to equal to Q. So P is equal to Q. No, they both point to different nodes. So next iteration P moves forward by one step, Q moves forward by two steps. So Again, P is not equal to Q. So P will come here and Q will move forward by two positions. That is Q will come here. Then uh, whether P is equal to equal to Q, this step? No, they are not equal. So go to the next iteration now. So P will come here and Q will move forward by two positions. So Q will point to C. Now are they equal now P and Q? No, they are not equal. So let's continue with next iteration. So P will move forward by one position. Q will move forward by two positions. Again they are not equal. So P will move forward by one position. Q will move forward by two positions. Again they are not equal. So now P will move forward by one position and Q will move forward by two positions. So now P is equal to equal to Q. P and Q point to the same node. So when this condition is satisfied, this means that we have a loop and we will return 
the node at which p and q will meet so we return p and we conclude that there is a loop in this linked list so let's see now how to find out the start of the loop so the first question is what is the start of a loop so here in this linked list you can see the node c is the start of the loop because the last node that is j in this linked list or in this loop points to c again so because the last node in the loop points to c we can say that c is the start of this loop so now how to find out the start of the loop how do we know that c is the starting of that loop so now for that we have a function that is start loop function and we are passing two parameters p and head so what is p so p is the p which we have returned from this function means the position at which p and q meet each other while we detect the loop so we call this node as p for this function and we pass head of the linked list so inside the function now a new pointer q will point to head so q will now point to head now inside this while loop p and q both will move forward by one position each time so p and q will move forward by one position each time that is p equal to p points next and q equal to q points next so till p is equal to equal to q so what is the breaking condition for this loop it is p will be equal to q then the loop will break so let's see while p is not equal to q we have to move p and q by one position so let's move p by one position and q by one position so p is not equal to q so we have to go for next iteration p by one position and q by one position now let's see yes here p is equal to q so this condition does not satisfy so we come out of the loop and we return p so we return the address of this node as the starting of the loop so here is the question why this approach works means you can say here was q and p was here and both were two two nodes away from the starting of this no, from the starting of this loop this is the first node second node first node and second node so this is not a coincidence the length from p to c and the length from head to c will always be same if it is 3 then this will also be 3 so this is because there is a algorithm that is floyd's cycle detecting algorithm which explains why this happens so in our next video we will see why this approach works so please make sure that you see my next video hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you